So we're going to play a time-honored tradition of a game called High-Low. Now, how High-Low works is it is effectively a little number-guessing game. It's just our way to kind of work with a computer. It's, again, time-honored tradition. Every programmer worth their salt learns this program. So the first thing we have to do is we have to make a number. You know, well, we don't make the number. Again, this is a, now the computer's starting to think, it's starting to operate. And one of the things that we're going to have it do is we're going to have it pick a random number from 0 to 100, and then we're going to guess it. So, all right, well, that's, as you can see, step two. We then ask the user, we ask the user, come here, to make a guess. And then we do an assessment. We do an evaluation. We see, uh, well... If the user's guess is too high, we tell them they're too high. You know, it's a game of hot and cold. Warmer, warmer, hot, 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 hot. You got it, yay! That's what we're doing here. We're, we're telling them if they're warmer or colder. If it's too high, we say it's too high. If it's too low, we say it's too low. We have to do an evaluation process. And we continue, continue. We, instead of continue, we can think of this right we take that out we loop we continuously run through it until we get it so here's that code kind of just outlined this is a great way you can think about oh, this is a great way you can uh, go ahead and work on your code before you even start to hammer it out before you even start to work on it take what you're doing and you know, just kind of put it in there. Uh, as you can see, this is going to give me a little bit of a step-by-step -step guide as to what I need to do. So the first thing I needed to do was uh, generate a random number from 0 to 100. Now, I want to make this an integer, a whole number, because we're going to be dealing with, you know, my user's not going to want to guess 3.145298765432 you know, they don't want to go decimals. It makes the game a little little too hard. That's hard mode. You know, we're we're easy mode. We're just learning this game. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to name this uh, number. Simple variable name that's not out of this world that's called number. And then again, we say math dot random times one and I'm gonna do something here oh one now why 101 because math dot random is gonna generate some random number from 0 0.1 to 1.0 not including 1.0 remember that means if we think of this in percentage wise this will generate a 100, but it'll be 100.99999, something like that. But it will never, ever hit 101. Now, one of the things that I just mentioned was this is going to generate like 100.99999999. That's an issue. Again, we have to make sure that we're dealing with integers, not doubles. And again, if I try and compile this right off the bat, if I just try to compile this... I get lossy compression because I'm trying to make a double into an integer. So we run into, obviously, that problem. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do casting. Now again, we are going to run into an issue. This is going to cast this before this happens. Well, this only generates numbers from 0 to 1, not including 1, so it's always going to turn it into a 0. So what I have to do is I have to take this and put it inside parentheses. Again, remember, order of operations kicks in. This is going to get evaluated first. That becomes some decimal point. This becomes my whole number. So now we get to look at this in... One of the things I recommend is don't start looping. Don't try and do the loop first. Follow your instructions, then put it inside of a loop. My next instruction is ask the user for a guess. Ask the user for a guess. System.out.print enter a number. I'm not 
looking at the while loop yet. I'm not trying to look at the while loop yet. I'm just saying, give me a number and then string dot guess or string guess equals input dot next line. This is going to just store that user's guess. Again, no loop has taken place yet. You know, I know I have to repeat. We're not there yet. We keep going. All right, well, now I can say, if the user's guess is too high, tell them and let them play again. So if, if, uh, actually, I'm going to switch this from a string to an integer, because we're dealing with an integer. Next int if number equal equal guess and that's why I changed it to an integer so I can do easy comparisons system dot out dot print line you are correct else if remember we've got three possible scenarios here. If they got it right, if they're too high, or they're too low. So suddenly, if number is less than guess, my guess is too high. Too high. Well, again, I don't need to check to see if number is uh, greater than guess, because I've already checked is it equal to my one scenario? Is it less than my second? So by order of you know elimination, there's only one possible state it can get in now. Whether or not it's greater. We can already just assume that. So we can say to low low. Now again, I haven't made my loop yet. One of the things I recommend before you start trying to loop this, because it's the first time you've seen a loop. Compile it. Make sure your errors are gone. Enter a number. I don't know what the number is. I don't. I don't get that. Again, it's a game. You know, you don't get the answer. So I'm just gonna say 50. Too high. And the game's over. Now that's the problem. Oh, it, the game's over. That's no fun. So now we go. All right. Well, let's let's play the game. So. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this stuff and I'm going to put it inside of a loop. So the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, right about here while guess uh, does not equal number. <laughs> Now, some of you might already be screaming at something, but I want to I wanna just, don't worry, we'll get to it. Now, one thing we have to do, as I kind of clean this up, is that I have to change my guess. I have my guess up here, but now what about here? All right, I got to change my guess. Otherwise, what's going to happen? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn this into a, just a declaration. I'm actually going to move this as well into here. But I'm going to get rid of this guess part. And I'm going to leave this up here. Now, one thing I'm going to do is instead of doing input.nextInt, I'm going to say negative 1. Why negative 1? Well, if we think about what kind of numbers I'm generating? Am I is my guess ever going to be a negative one? No, you know my number is never going to be negative one. I'm, I'm my user hopefully never types negative one, so I'm already going to be wrong from the beginning. That's not a bad thing because as you can see, right after this gets assessed, negative one does not equal my correct guess number. Boom, things happen. So we save it up. We compile it up. Enter a number. 50. Too high. All right. 25. Too low. All right. So now I got a 32, 32-ish. 
to a high. Ah, see, now, I'm, let's see, somewhere between 25 and 32, cut that in half again. We're now dealing with about a 28. Too low, 30. Too high, 29. You are correct. And as you can see, boom, 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 game over.